we come to the relationship between the equilibrium constant Kc, reaction cost quotient Q and Gibbs energy G. Okay. The concept of Gibbs energy was introduced to you in the last chapter of thermodynamics. Okay. Gibbs energy, but before that, before that I'd like to clear one thing. That the equilibrium constant, equilibrium constant Kc doesn't predict the rate of the reaction, right? Predict the rate of the reaction. How fast the reaction goes, that is not told by this, okay? So yes, the reaction, even if a, the Kc value is very high, you know that reaction is going to, going to, almo, to, to completion in the, to almost a completion in the forward direction. But that doesn't tell you how fast, okay? That is dealt by a separate branch of chemistry that is called chemical kinetics. The, the speed of the reaction does not come here, right? So, so rate of reaction is, is not known by this, okay? There is a thing called Gibbs free energy, okay? That is called Gibbs free energy. G tells you about the spontaneity of the reaction, okay? Gives the, gives the direction in which the reaction, direction in which the reaction goes forward. Okay, we'll soon see. Now just try to think. Uh, but before that, let me let me give you this, uh, which we did in the last chapter. If if the change in the Gibbs free energy is negative, okay. If delta G is less than zero, that is it is that is it is negative, then the then the reaction will move in the forward direction. Then the reaction will move in the forward direction. Okay. It moves in the forward direction and this gives free energy as, as, as you go into electrochemistry you will understand that that energy will appear somewhere sometimes as an electric current or sometimes as heat okay so it will move in the forward direction if delta g is greater than zero that is it is positive okay then what happens then the reaction does not proceed the reaction does not proceed in the forward direction Okay, it does not proceed in the forward direction. Yes? Yeah, so obviously that means the formation of, that is the formation of, formation of reactants is favored. Okay? That is reverse reaction is favored. And, and if delta G is equal to zero, what do you feel will happen? If delta G is equal to zero, then the, then the reaction is at equilibrium. Okay. Now let us try to understand one more thing. See, delta 
g delta g less than zero okay k c greater than ten cube both tell me that they'll move in the forward forward reaction favor right favor delta g greater than 0 kc less than 10 to the power minus 3 reverse reaction favor delta g is equal to 0 kc is obviously <clears throat> between this fifty fifty right reactants products comparable right or oh, 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 not that this this will may, may this maybe will confuse you. You 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 remove this. This, but this is something that conveys the same thing to us, right? That means there should be some relationship between these two quantities. There should be. No. And there indeed is the, the equation that you have done is that the delta G is equal to this plus RT log Q. Okay. What is Q? Q is the reaction quotient, quotient, reaction quotient, quotient, and this is the reaction quotient, and uh, delta G is the Gibbs free energy that that we already know Gibbs free energy. Delta G is indeed the change in that, right? Delta G not. Okay, so delta g naught is the standard gibbs energy standard gibbs <laughs> energy okay now when delta g is equal to 0 then the reaction is at equilibrium so what happens if delta G is equal to zero, the reaction is at equilibrium and hence, and hence Q is equal to KC, is it not? If it is at equilibrium, then the reaction quotient becomes equal to KC, is it not? That we have already done while predicting the direction of movement of the reaction. So what happens if, if this is 0, then it is delta G naught plus RT log KC. Okay? Now what does that mean? That means that log KC minus RT log KC is equal to delta G naught. So log KC is minus delta G naught, okay, naught upon RT. Okay. And, and we know the property of the log. If log B base A is equal to C, then B is equal to a to the power c this is the basic the most 
fundamental definition of log the place from where the log has come up so kc is equal to e to the power minus delta g naught upon rt correct correct now you see what happens so so i I'd, I'd like to write it again here and put it under a box e to the power minus kc upon rt right it is this this is what delta g naught right upon rt now now what happens if delta g is negative then this whole quantity becomes positive okay if delta g not is less than zero then what happens kc is very very greater than one it is e to the power something okay if delta g not is greater than 0 then this is still this is still negative and and it is uh, it will go go to the denominator it becomes smaller than 1 right so what happens is you see what happens is they are indeed related you see what we were predicting in the beginning that these values they if they lead to the same thing they should be related and they are related through this equation this equation you should you should be conversant about okay okay Fine. 